I woke up this morning thinking, you know what? Video game movies are almost always just terrible. And it's almost as if the Sony fairy godmother had heard me and said, Hey, we have a new Uncharted trailer. Let's talk about it. If you've done yourself the disservice and never played an Uncharted game, I feel sorry for you. If you have, however, I feel sorry for you also, having to see this trailer. Because it looks nothing like the video game outside of a set piece or two. Sure, Tom Holland looks the part. And by looks the part, I mean they cosplay him in some of the outfits from the video games. He doesn't sound like Drake. Doesn't have any of the characteristics, smolder, or charm as Drake. Doesn't really have the physical appearance of Drake either. So really, he just has the wardrobe. But Sony likes him as Spider-Man, so throw him in this one. And Mark Wahlberg's in this as Sully because he was too old to play Nathan Drake, who he was originally trying out for and was actually cast as years ago. This movie's been in production hell for like a decade or so. But why get rid of him? We can just have two Nathan Drakes, because he's certainly not playing the Sully I know from the video games. Now maybe I should separate it. Maybe I should just look at this from newcomers to the franchise that haven't played the video games and are just seeing this with fresh eyes. Okay, what you have on display in the trailer is a very kind of generic Fast and the Furious looking heist movie of sorts. Doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look good. Even more perplexing is they seem to have just kind of willy-nilly taken things from different games and shoved them all into one storyline. It appears to be Uncharted 4 for the most part, but it's clearly a young Nathan Drake, which we saw a lot of in Uncharted 3, which is also present because of that end plane sequence that looks atrocious. Physics have no place in this movie, apparently. I kept waiting for the camera to zoom into one of the vehicles and we see Vin Diesel there as Dom saying, one last ride, Ching! and he pulls something and the car flies at the camera, with uh, Nathan Drake on it, Tom Holland, who then Spider-Man's back in. It just looks terrible. And cards on the table, I wasn't looking forward to this to begin with. Once I found out they passed up on Nathan Fillion a decade ago for this role, I said I'm out. There was no reason to make an Uncharted movie to begin with. The games are already movies you barely play. And I love them. I love them with all of my being. I've played through them all multiple times. Platinumed the first uh, three, I believe. Four has a really stupid platinum. And, and that game I thought was a little bit on the, the, the duller side compared to them. Great story though. The stories are phenomenal. Uh, they don't seem to be translating into this trailer. But it's just a trailer, so... Who knows, the final product could blow me away. It won't, but it could. There's a possibility. My Chloe's in this. She looks to be about 19 now instead of the older woman that I've appreciated over the many games. The thick THICC character that's sassy, sultry, sexy, and really everything I want from a woman. Uh, she's gone from this. Now we have a, a younger woman that's, that's probably fine. She sounds like her kind of. That's something. If it's not coming across, I'm pissed about this trailer and it's gonna put people off. I know a lot of people watch trailer reaction videos to just see someone watch along and go, whoa, that's from Uncharted 3. I recognize that, this is fun. No, fuck that. I'm giving you an honest review of the trailer. I didn't like it. It didn't win me over as a fan of Uncharted. Now, how it's gonna appear for someone that doesn't care about the games? Maybe it'll have more uh, appeal. I don't know. Like, let me know in the comments if this is your sort of thing. If you like Tom Holland as Peter Parker, he seems to be doing the same character here. I, I, I didn't see any of the, the sarcasm or the charm or the swagger that Nathan Drake has. Did he have a half tuck on the shirt? If there's no half tuck, don't even bother releasing it. Sully doesn't even have his goddamn mustache. That's like his thing. With Chloe, it was her perfectly sculpted ass. With Sully, it was his goddamn perfect mustache. They're both gone from the trailer. Where's Elena? She's not here. She's gone. I, I don't know. I looked at IMDb. She's not credited. We have Antonio Banderas as the bad guy. That's about the only good thing I see going on here. Antonio Banderas is fantastic. Fuck. I mean, what? Why? Why, Sony? Nathan Fillion even did a fan short years back. It it's like 10 minutes long. Highly suggest you watch it on YouTube. He is Nathan Drake there, and he's older, and he's still pulling it off, so it's not like he can't do the role. He can hit the bow flex, he can hit the gym for a few weeks, few months, get in tip-top shape and get this done. He'd knock out a trilogy in, in less than 10 years. That, that's what I want, or nothing, because what I saw is trash. It's honestly hot trash. The theme song is subtly present for about two seconds when the thing fires up, then we're off to Led Zeppelin for... 
I don't know why. I have no idea. It doesn't fit with the trailer even. I'm kind of glad though that the Uncharted theme isn't present in this trailer really because now I'm at the point where I want this movie to be as distanced from the material as possible. So then I won't get as pissed off like I clearly already am when things aren't represented correctly. Now I know how book lovers feel when a movie completely botches the source material. So is there anything good going on in the trailer? Do I have to be a total stick in the mud? It looks completely generic and mediocre and fine. That's not what Uncharted is though. And so therefore I am upset. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. Those are my thoughts on the trailer. Let me know what you have to say about it. Maybe you think it looks amazing. Or you're blown away by Tom Holland's performance. He's he's basically encompassed everything about Nathan Drake here. Uh, Mark Wahlberg is just a shoe in for Sully. Everything's perfect. So let me know. Uh, like the video if you like honesty. Don't like the video if, and go watch one of those reactor things. Those are everywhere. They're stupid. You can enjoy them. Subscribe if you want. I do a lot of honest stuff on my channel and usually I'm a little bit more happy about things. Either way, thanks for giving this a shot and hopefully I'll see you around. <music> little fun fact for you. A couple years ago, Sony had a contest where you could submit a video, like if you're a fan of Sony, recreating an event from a video game that you liked. I did one for Uncharted. It was kind of a parody thing. Uh, I'll, I'll, pl I'll play this at the end here so you can see it. It's not very long, and, and, and while that's going on, there's some things that you can do, I think, some interactive stuff to subscribe or watch other videos. Enjoy. When my buddy Chris informed me PlayStation was doing a contest, yeah, I, I fangirled out pretty hard. So with this contest, PlayStation asked us to recreate some of our favorite moments from one of our favorite franchises, Uncharted. It wasn't a problem. So we dusted off the green screen, half tucked our shirts, and we put in the work to make this a win. From the burning chateau to cruising up the river on a jet ski with Elena, it's all there. We recreated all four games, the Vita exclusive and the card game Fight for Fortune in their entirety. What we didn't have in acting, talent, any relevant skills in the filming industry, we made up for in passion. I'm not Nolan North. I'm also not Mark Wahlberg or Nathan Fillion. Whoa, look, Sully, looks like we just uncovered the secrets of the golden abyss. But I am a gamer. So in that extension, I am Nathan Drake. We wanted to make the most authentic Uncharted experience we could. El goddamn Dorado. Get too old for this, Nate. Swinging! Oh. Oh. Nate, look out! Look, this isn't our first rodeo in the games to film business. Killzone, Little Big Planet, The Last of Us, no, no, Infamous, no, 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 no. Heavy Rain, Parappa no. the Rapper. These are all games we at one point or another failed at making into movies. Hey kid, which Sony exclusive is your favorite? Hmm. Huh. Why do I think we should win the PlayStation contest? I'm pretty sure I'll let my level 26 PSN trophy rank do the talking on that. I am PlayStation, and I'm always waiting for that next great exclusive right on the horizon. Now let's see it. We're prepared to give you all the PlayStation cards. Alien Nation guy, Firewatch, that's nothing. MLB The Show, a collectible plushie of me, and the crown jewel, a PlayStation Vita. He doesn't know what that is.